you've been here for obviously the movie, but you're also here for the Passion Project. You visited the protesters at Mauna Kea. Mm -hmm. Correct. I wanted to ask you because, I mean, obviously, I watched the video that you posted on Instagram and I got chills. Mm -hmm. This is sacred land. Why was it important for you to make a statement and to show solidarity with these protesters? It was important for me to get my boots on the ground and go to the protesters and go to the kapuna of the elders and not only show my support, but hear from them directly mm -hmm. and listen to them. And this is sacred ground and it's sacred ground to the native Hawaiians. Mauna Kea is a very sacred place and it is described as, as native Hawaiian. It's their church. It's their church, and it's very sacred, and it's something that they believe, and they, they deeply believe, and they deeply protect. Mm -hmm. But it's how we all feel in Polynesia, and all throughout Polynesia, is that we have to protect our sacred land. And from what I was able to ascertain after speaking to representatives on both sides, they're amongst the people, the protesters, the ones who are for the telescope being built, um, elected officials too as well, the conversations that I had. What you realize is, is there has been mismanagement over the years, there's been breach of trust over the years, but the bottom line is this, is it's more than just a tele, what I was able to walk away from, I looked at this whole scenario, it's more than a telescope being built, it's humanity, and it's human beings whose heart uh, are, are hurting. Yeah. And when this happens, when things reach this emotional extreme, it's an indicator for all of us, um, including our leaders, to pause and figure out another way because there's a solution in everything. We just have to have the right people at the right table having the right dialogue. So it was a really beautiful visit and I'm so happy that I went and I do stand by the people.